Pastor Eli Leeds out coming at you once again with another Higher Things video short. And today we're going to be talking about the things of life. It's January, so you're going to be hearing a lot about abortion, about the things of life uh, in the, the news media, maybe within your congregations and your churches as well. And the reason for that is way back in January 22nd, 1973 was when Roe v. Wade was decided. And that was the court case in the Supreme Court. Uh, that allowed uh, abortion uh, throughout the United States. And ever since then, there's been millions upon millions of abortions. And yes, these things of life that we need to discuss uh, within the church, it's more than just abortion, uh, but that's one of kind of the major ones. That's kind of like the loud one. But of course, these things of life uh, go into euthanasia, go into assisted suicide, go into suicide itself. Uh, it talks about things like uh, marriage even. Uh, and what is marriage, or gender, man and woman, male and female, and all of that sort of stuff. All of this life discussion and talk can fit into there. And so January might be one of those months that you're going to hear about that a lot. And I think that's important. I think that's good, because we as the church need to engage, engage the world and engage society and talk about these things of life, and engage each other as well. But all of that's going to look and sound a little bit different. Right, uh, The way in which I'm going to uh, engage in the public square, talking uh, to, to strangers about the actual facts of the case is going to be different than I'm going to actually talk to somebody who's struggling with an unwanted pregnancy or someone who's struggling with uh, their grandma who's got Alzheimer's. Right? That's going to be a different discussion, and it should be, and it properly should be. So we need to know how to, as the church, discuss these things and talk about these things differently. And these video shorts uh, don't really give me enough time to, to actually engage and get in depth on how we are going to actually talk in the public square or talk to our neighbors or talk to the hurting uh, teenage mother or any of that stuff. Uh, that's stuff that you need to speak to with your pastor. That's stuff that you need to speak to with your parents and have those ongoing conversations. But maybe I can kind of point you in the right direction over the next, next couple of videos. Uh, so that uh, you might know where to go. And, and pastors, too. Um, maybe you can be a little bit more educated as, as um, I wasn't educated either and had to actually kind of read up on all of these things so that I could engage uh, properly in the public square and engage uh, my congregation and help them in regards to these things. So when we're speaking about the public square, I think we need to speak about uh, these things of life, these things of marriage, these things of gender and and, and who we are and how God has made us, but we can't do it necessarily and only from the Bible. Swinging around the Bible and saying the fifth commandment says you shall not murder, so you can't abort, uh, because God says so, doesn't work with somebody who doesn't believe in God. Doesn't work with somebody who doesn't hold the Bible as, as, as Scripture. So swinging that around doesn't work, and that's fine. So that's engage in natural law, because if, if God's law is good and holy and right, and he's thrown these things out like a uh, fifth commandment to protect life and sixth commandment to protect marriage. And God created them man and, 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 and woman, male and female, he created them. Uh, then we should be able to see this in the natural ordered things of life as well. So we'll call them natural law arguments. To know these natural law arguments on why abortion uh, is wrong, on why marriage is uh, between a man and a woman until death parts them towards procreation. Uh, to know why we can and should only speak about how God created us male and female. But in this natural law sort of arguments, I think that's paramount. I think that's important for us to do. So I'm just going to talk about a couple books, or not even talk because I think my time's running out. I'm just going to show you a, a couple books. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, to plug books, but I'm going to do it, and maybe I'll get yelled at. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, the first one is, uh, I don't have it here. I've lent it out. It's called, What is Marriage? Man, Woman, a Debate. Uh, Robert George and uh, Ryan Anderson uh, wrote that a while ago, and it's a beautiful um, natural law argument for what marriage is. Uh, the next one is another one by Ryan Anderson. It's When Harry Became Sally. Again, all of these are natural law uh, discussions and arguments. You'll notice I don't have any dust jackets on these. I lose them, and people think uh, that I'm not treating books good. But anyways, um, this is about uh, gender. It's about male and female natural law arguments for that. Uh, then we've got Embryo, another one here by Robert P. George, uh, and that speaks about natural law arguments uh, against abortion. 
Then we've got a, a wonderful one by uh, uh, Kleinig here. It's called Wonderfully Made. And he goes through uh, the way in which we can see and understand, scripturally speaking, uh, also a little bit of natural law, uh, how God has actually created our bodies and, and how that is good. And if we fully understand that, then we can speak to these other things, I think, a little bit better. And then the last one, it kind of goes into a, a number of different uh, uh, topics uh, per, uh, per chapter. It's Holy People, Holy Lives. It came out uh, um, from CPH, uh, Law and Gospel and Bioethics. Um, all of these books are great resources. Your pastor is a great resource. Uh, your parents are great resources. I encourage you during this month of January to engage in these discussions. Stand up for those who can't stand for themselves. Speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Uh, this is a good and right thing for us as the church to do, for you to do as well. So I pray that this has been helpful and edifying, um, and see you soon. God bless. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.